Hey guys, this is Jason Spanky Salzman with Universal Audio here at uh, KnobCon 2017. Here to talk about our audio interfaces and our wonderful plugins and really kind of the rich history of UA. So, we have the Apollo series with us today. Um, we've got connected here an Apollo AP and an Apollo Twin. And build the system. Kind of what we're talking about today is the ability one, certainly tracking, recording your synthesizers or audio or microphone or voice with our interfaces, right? And the ability to use our plugins in real time, including Unison, this process where we've modeled these different mic pre's and your mic pre on our Apollo now changes the game staging and impedance to match what's going on. Uh, but also to be able to shape your, shape your audio on the way in. So um, let's say on this Mother 32 that's being recorded into, or not recorded into, but connected to an Apollo. I'm using an Eden WT800 uh, plugin in this Unison slot for the high Z, and then also shaping it with this VX subset. Right, really color on the way in, meaning. I'm re-recording this or recording this Mother 32 into, in this case, Ableton. But the other thing that we're talking about today is the fact that... Alright, go here. The Apollos that you see here, really all the Apollos except for the original silver rack mounts, are DC coupled outputs. So with a program mm -hmm. like Expert Sleepers, Expert Sleepers rather, Final Way, we're able to send um, MIDI to control voltage out. And that's what you see back here on the Apollo that we have set up. So I'm taking two outputs, running it into this Mother 32. So when I'm able to basically take this little MIDI clip I've created here and kind of hit play, and then it's basically being sent into here. And now you'll see here in several lines. So if, if you have multiple outputs, you can control multiple CV controllable things on your modular here. Absolutely. Um, from your digital DAW world. That's exactly and there's, there's a handful of interfaces out there that let you do that. Yeah. Um, this is why you're at a synth fest, right? Because that's right, yeah. And what we Apollo. kind of, in going to, let's say, uh, you know, Moog Fest this year and talking about it, right, and here at NovCon, lots of users who already own Apollos had no idea that that was a feature that was available or it was part of you know, the way the interfaces were. And then obviously here, um, you know, just talking about sound quality too. You know, the fact that you're taking really a lovely, like this mini mode, that my folks from uh, Reverb.com had lent us for the show. You've got this amazing sounding instrument and then if you're going to be using it for recording or playing live, Know, to be able to have a quality audio interface that the conversion quality you really yeah. what you're putting in is what you're getting out right mm -hmm. so that's the other part of that equation with us we take it to that next level that not only uh, you know you have great converters and great conversions so i think you can use all these plugins right to really again shape the sound uh, heading into your daw or going to front of house for that matter for playing live as well so that's really kind of the mission of coming to NovCon and talking to folks here. So certainly plenty more to learn at www.uaudio.com. And Real also, to ask you a question. Yeah. Relevant to you being at a synth festival at NovCon, can you speak to any rumors of the DSP power in the UAD platform eventually maybe being used to model virtual instruments? Well, I, I can't speak to it because I have no idea. I, uh, as a VAI fan, I certainly would love that to be the case. I mean, what I can show you that, you know, right now it's really not uh, set up for anything more than a couple of plugins. Audio, that, yeah, audio processors are what you're but, known for in modeling vintage recording here. Right. But what you'll see here is certainly there's many implementations inside the console. So who knows where that might lead to. But again, so that's, not for, okay. that's not for me to talk about. Very interesting. Okay, Spanky, thanks so much for spending a little time with us. My pleasure. And uh, have a good one. Thank you.